Hey everyone, welcome back to iastack. In this quick tutorial, I will show you exactly how to point your domain to Hostinger using DNS settings. Whether your domain is from Namecheap, GoDaddy or any other provider, this will work. So if you are setting up your website on Hostinger and want to connect your domain, you are in the right place. So let's jump right in. So first of all, open your Hostinger H panel and open the website that you want to connect with this domain. For example, here in the left sidebar under the websites, we have the website list section. You can click on that and find the website that you want to link. So here uh, you may have multiple websites. So let's suppose you want to connect with this uh, existing website. You can just click on that and scroll down and under the advanced section you will see dns zone editor click on that and you would notice this section that is saying connect your domain you just have to click on that and you will be able to connect it but i would do it from very scratch so i will go back to the home and i will create a new website by the way uh, i am using the business wordpress plan from hostinger so you may have a bit different package but most of the time this would work and here under my hosting plan there is a manage button click on that and from this drop down menu on the left sidebar you would notice there is a add website button or there is another way uh, if you go back to the home you will see this website section if you click on the websites list then here you will see a button to add a website you just click on that and here you will see multiple options you can uh, just create a wordpress website it will create everything for you out of the box it will create the database it will create the wordpress setup and connect the database everything you don't have to worry about anything it will just set up things and give it to you to access it or you can use the hostinger web builder to create or you can uh, simply create empty php or html website to keep this website uh, to keep this video simple and short i would just pick the empty php html website so just click on that once you click on that you will be redirected on this screen and they will ask you a few questions so it is asking who is this website for you can select anything you can say myself or someone else go to the next you can also skip okay here here it is asking a question what domain or subdomain would you like to use and claim your free domain buy a new one or confirm a domain you already own you can also create a free subdomain of any published website but for now i want to link my external domain that is on namecheap i want to connect that with the hostinger so on namecheap this is the name of my website you can copy the domain and paste it here by the way, you if you don't have any domain yet, you can just click on the use temporary domain as well. Okay, so once you paste the domain here, it would show you some options. Here it is saying, do you own this domain? Use it. You just have to click on that. They are giving you other options as well, uh, depending on your existing setup. I had uh, this, dom uh, this domain. That's why it is giving me option to use this free subdomain as well. But for now, I want to use this domain. So click on that. Now it is saying that this domain is registered at another provider. You'll have to verify you own it when you connect it to your site. So let's do that. Click on the next button. And now it is initializing the setup. This may take a few minutes. So let's wait for that. All right, website has been created. It has assigned this domain to it, but it is giving me the error. The domain is not connected to your website. To make sure your website is accessible, connect your domain first. So let's uh, click on this button and it will give us some instructions. Here, let's connect ayaz.xyz to your website. Change the name server records on your domain provider's site. First of all, on your domain provider, you have to log in. In my case, I have the name chip and go to your domains management page and find the name servers or custom name servers okay so here you scroll down under the name server section it is currently using the name chip basic dns so that's mean it is connected with the name chip so far but we want to 
connect it with the hosting so for that it is saying that delete the name server record that are there and paste the following name servers record here we uh, can't delete it but we can change it so here instead of selecting this one we will just click on the custom dns and then it will show us a form where we can put our own custom name server so let's do that copy the first name server and paste it here and then copy this name server and paste it here all right and once you are done click on the submit button save okay it is saved now it is saying connecting your domain might take up to 24 hours but most of the time i have experienced that it is connected earlier than that as well oh by the way here it is saying if you want to keep your dns zone at your current domain provider connect the domain using the a record so this is another way to connect your domain so for example uh, your website dns zone is handling other things maybe you have purchased the email uh, service here and other things are connected with this name servers okay so we have done that now click on this checkbox i have changed the name servers records so click on the finish and it is saying if you changed your dns records your domain will be connected soon okay and get an email sent to uh, your email when your domain is connected okay so if you uh, keep that checked then you will receive an email when your domain is connected okay now close it and now you're on your dashboard and there is another way to check if your domain is connected or not for that you have to open a website that is dns checker here you need to type the domain name that you want to check so copy it and paste it here as we have uh, changed the name server so select the ns here and click on the search and you can see it is still showing the old name servers dns1 registrar servers but in our case it should be dns parking so it will definitely take some time so you can keep refreshing here and see if it is propagated or not yet uh, if you don't want to refresh every time here you can just wait and you will receive an email and you will know it is ready okay so once it is connected i will show you this page again and then we will test it by the way meanwhile let's check what we currently have here let's go to the file manager and see what we have inside this website okay you can see you will be redirected on this page and you have to go to the public underscore html first and at the moment the public underscore html is empty there is just one single default dot php file you can view it and edit it so let's open that and see what we have inside so it is just a simple default landing page so we will see once it is connected we will preview it in browser all right the domain connection error is gone from this h panel so that's uh, main it is connected although if you check in the dns checker you may see that it is still propagating properly it may take further time to connect to reflect on all of these countries but i hope that for now it is good for us to test at the moment so as there is no error now let's open this website click on that all right you can see that our domain name has been connected successfully because it is now loading the default landing page of hostinger that you saw earlier in the default.php and the good thing is that it has installed the ssl certificate as well automatically out of the box so that is so nice now uh, just to make sure that it is properly connected and we can make any change so i will just line so i will just remove everything from the body and i will add my own text here i will add h1 tag hello world okay hit the save button and now let's reload it all right it was reflected that's mean everything is working correctly so that's how you can connect your custom domain with, with your hostinger account in some case if you don't want to add the custom dns you may go to the advanced dns and uh, you can add the a record as well so for example in order to add the a record you have to change something so for example go back to the domain and here instead of the custom dns you may like to use you have to use the name cheap basic dns you have to save it and you have to go to the advanced dns section and there you will see this section okay here 
you need to click on the add new record and here you will see in this drop down uh, a record just select on that and here you would add the host i would select at the rate that means i would like to target the main domain and here you would need to add the ip address of your hostinger so first of all i need to get the ip address of my hostinger where this website is linked so for that i guess i need to click on the hosting and here you can see the website ip address so just select that and go back to the domain provider and paste that ip address and save it now the propagation of this uh, should be faster and the process would be same you have to go there and check but before that you have to add this domain as well so for example you have to go to the advanced section dns zone editor and here i have removed the dns name servers from my domain provider that's why now it is showing me that it domain is not connected even if you go back to the home of this domain you would see the error let me show you okay on this page click on the connect domain and here this time instead of using this instruction below you will see text saying connect domain using a record method so let's click on that it will change the instruction and here it is asking you to add the a records and the a records for the ww domain okay so for both the ip would stay same but we just need to change the domain we already have added uh, the at the rate entry in our domain panel now i just need to make another entry here choose the a record and this time i would use www and ip would stay same so copy the ip and paste it here hit the save button so in this way the base domain and the domain with the www subdomain would be connected okay so both are connected and now here you can check this checkbox i have changed the a record click on that finish it is saying that i will get the email and also let's go back to the dns checker and this time instead of selecting the name server i will select the a record and hit the search and if you see the ip address that we pasted earlier then that's mean it is done you saw that the ip address has been propagated very quickly almost instantly we did not have to wait at all so that is the benefit of using a record but there are some limitations as i told you earlier that you will not be able to uh, utilize other features of the hosting provider like email but you can still do that uh, if you want to link the email if you want to make use of the email service of the hostinger but your domain is on name server or other domain provider and you don't want to change the name server you can still do that you can set up your email with that setup so i will also record a video about that how you would do that but for now it is fine so as you saw that our uh, a record is now reflected everywhere in every country so that's mean we are ready to use it you can just reload this page and you would notice that it is still working nothing changed so that's all what i wanted to show you in this video and that's it your domain is now pointing to the hostinger you are all set to launch your website if you found this helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe to iastack and drop a comment if you have any question i'll try my best to reply to everyone Hit the bell icon for more tutorials just like this.